everyone, this is Cheryl. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be sharing a little side project that I was working on about a week ago. And I thought I'd pop in and share it with you all. This project was inspired by three lovely ladies, Lori, Girl on the Ridge, and Christy. For She's from Twins for Me Too. And then also a Robin Dudley House. Um, Christy actually has a tutorial on her channel, and so does Robin. Um, but I found Christy's first and enjoyed hers, and it inspired me to pull out all my stuff and, and start making it. And then I think it was like a couple days after that, I know that Robin put a series on her YouTube channel. Um, she's been making these for, for a while now, too, just like like Lori, and, and um, they're all just so beautiful. But I needed a project that I could complete <laughs> and get that instant gratification of something that you actually complete. Because journals, you know, for me, they, they, they take a while. I don't crank them out by any means. I just can't. My creative process is a lot slower. And I don't know if it's just because of my age or what. But I just kind of just take my time. So let's take a look at what I did. I mean, this is my take on the um, altered file folder envelope um, this is just you know I guess mine are probably a little more simple um, but um, I'm calling this collection the flower fairies and I, how, what inspired me too is I had purchased a set of four antique um, like trading cards and these are the originals that I purchased this one is actually holding a little fairy. This is what the originals look like. And um, I've, I've put them as a digital download kit in my um, Etsy store. So if you're interested in creating, you know, something that looks like this, you can always get that or use it in your own little projects. I've also um, put in a new French letter covers um, digital download. I just purchased these from a, a wonderful shop on Etsy too. And I want to say it's like French creations. Um, but I'll, I'll list the link too because she has wonderful, and they're all antique vintage items that are in her shop. Lots of French postcards and documents and tons of stuff. So I'll, I'll list that. Um, so I've included at least a French letter cover and then also the, the flower fairies. And then I've included some birds that that I have in my own personal collection and then each one has a number and it and that's probably how I'll list it in my Etsy store is I'll go by the number and um, uh, it, each one of them has a little um, little flower rosette type of thing I got these from Denise's shop at a tattered dream I believe and then also the um, doilies and I also got the glassine bags from her shop this actually is one of Rachel's from Roxy creation she has a label um, digital download I think it's like four pages it's it's quite a large selection and you know and at different sizes too so I used some of hers in this project and why don't we take a look at this one. I've included in the little glassine bag, I've tucked in some vintage ephemera. Each one will come with a bird, a French tag, and a library catalog card, and a vintage envelope. I got that from Papers, Paper Harbor. But each one has a little ephemera envelope in there. Um, this is not a file folder. This is an actual envelope. And um, but I thought it turned out great. And this is some fabric washi I made. I have a tutorial on how, how I make fabric washi. So if you're interested, go take a look at that. And here it says, the sequence of events was this. This is from Nick's um, novel quotes sheet. And these are, again, Rachel's from Roxy Creations, her, her label 
set that she had. And then each one has a little journal, junk journal included. And it matches the image on the front. Just use some aged up linen fabric. A label on the back. Edith Holden. Some vintage music and botanical, some ledger, some antique French book page. This is from a vintage cookbook, coin collector's book, and then each one has a flower fairy in the middle. Just a little teeny journal. So that is that one. And this one is number 131. And up here this says, do not chase away the sunbeams. I actually have sunbeams coming in here, don't I? <laughs> and back here it says, the heart has its reasons, which reasons, which reason does not know. Another one are Rachel's labels. And this is some fabric washi and so is so that. And let's take a peek in here, see what see what bird is included with this set. The red breasted grosbeak grosbeak grosbeak. That's that. And here is the journal that is included with this one. Some Edith Holden. Dropped molasses cookies. <laughs> Letter P for pansy. <laughs> has a little flip out. And that is the back of that one. And number 133. On the back of here we have some more of the labels. Oh, let memory be a blessing. It is a blessing. Half the time my memory isn't working. Okay, and this is what we have in this one. And let's look at the little journal. This one has some Edith Holden from July. Glory be to God. I'm gonna put these in my Etsy shop, hopefully by this evening. Really had a lot of fun making these. And that's the back. Just wanted to go over something really quick too. Um, you know, with digital kits, I know a lot of people go over this over and over, but I just want to show a comparison. I mean, this is pretty good paper, you know, but this is what it can look like if it's not like a premium, you know, like photo paper. The quality of the images are just so much better when you use good quality paper. I mean, this kind of looks nice if you were doing like, you know, a really soft, you know, and you want it to look kind of more weathered, but this is definitely what they can look like on some photo mat paper. So, and so those are in my Etsy shop. If you want to take a look at them. This is what the um, French letter covers look like. And you can adjust the color too. Like when you bring, when you, when you open them up and you can go under your tools and hit color. If you wanted to make them more sepia, you could just adjust the color before you print them out. It's, it's quite easy to do that. And you can, 
you know, in your print, when you're printing too, you can scale it up or down. So to fit your project, you know, if you wanted these smaller, you could make them smaller or you wanted them larger. So it's just all up to you. Um, but I, I think they're just so cute. Oh, I wanted to show you what I purchased at Office Depot. I bought these vellum envelopes. They were on the clearance and I believe they're online too. So they were like five, less than five bucks. And I got a set of 40 and they're for the, the inkjet or laser jet too. So I think they'll be really cool to, to try printing something on them. And so I might go back and get some more because I just, I have never seen these. I thought they were pretty cool. So I thought I'd share that little, little bit of information with you. Um, but I think that's it for right now. I think so anyways, but I really appreciate you all taking the time to check out my latest creation and um, I have some other projects in the works too. I got a little project you know for Julie from for Julie shop the, the old design shop, which is a fun little project but I wanted to come up with another little thing that I could add to that video before I before I do it. But I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye everybody.